So once every two years, a very interesting phenomena happens. Uh, culture vultures around, across India actually, start making plans to visit Kochi sometime in uh, December and January. And flights are booked, you know, before they get too expensive, accommodations are being sought before, uh, you know, the hotels get sold out, and daily itineraries are planned. And as someone who is part of this culture vulture fraternity, what we are doing this is we want to visit the Kochi Museums Biennale, which is India's most prestigious visual arts event. Um, since December 2012, or as Mr. Bose would say, 12 fell 12, India, Indians have got to witness some of the best contemporary work from artists across India and abroad. Um, there's art displayed in venues that are truly unique in the sense that they are not your traditional spaces. You don't have to go to galleries or to museums. Uh, and also, it's an event that's run and curated by artists. Uh, it's an ambitious venture, one that runs for months, uh, and pulling it off is no easy feat. It's our honor to have amidst us the commander of this creative army uh, that puts together the Kochi Museulis Biennale. Please welcome eminent artist and founder and president of the Kochi Biennale Foundation, uh, which is behind India's largest contemporary art exhibition. Mr. Bose Krishnamachari, thank you so much for coming for the India Today South Conclave. Uh, Mr. Bose, I think the first thing I'd like to start off with is, is that there have been five editions of the Biennale. Uh, as someone who's visited a couple of them, in hindsight, do you think Kochi, or should I say Kerala, is the ideal place to host an event of this magnitude? Uh, no political interference, no worries about protests or something, someone being offended or being scandalized. Is, do you have free reign here in Kerala? Thank you for that question. In present time, I think, you know, everybody knows that, you know, secularism is one of the most important aspects when you look at culture building. Not in culture building, any kind of perspective you develop in the art world or, you know, political world or social world. Kochi play an important role because of Musiris. Musiris was the oldest port which was vanished in 1341. And when I talk about Binale, Binale is an Italian word which was started in 1895, 128 years ago, right? And Musiris used to have, you know, more than 50 countries used to have trade relationship. And when you look at it now, Kochi, when I talk about Kochi, Kochi is also connected with Matancheri. It's a place, 4.5 square kilometer area. We have 44 different kind of community lives together. When we look at Kerala, the first mosque, first church, first synagogue, all that was built in, in India, was the first place was in Kerala. There is a kind of nature of mirror. It is Kochi always receptive, receptive to the land. And that land, you know, actually already prepared for a cultural festival, you know. So we had to just plant the sapling or so as, you know, some seeds. And naturally it will grow. When I think about biennial or festival in India, there was no place, you know, when we were thinking about the first edition of the Biennale, we had only 10,000 square feet of space, which just belongs to the Lilith Kala Academy. We have converted that space into one of the finest gallery space, a weather control space to exhibit artwork. But that was in the mainland. Fort Kochi is a different kind of character and sensibilities and senses of, you know, developed in that area. Yeah, Kochi is the ideal place, I so, would say. So you haven't had any troubles putting up artworks here in, in, in Kochi? Uh, never. never. I mean, like, never in the sense of uh, the state given us the freedom, or we have taken the freedom, 
you know freedom is never given it is taken you know so we have taken the freedom we have the autonomy to, to find the best art from around the world it's almost like kind of cutting edge practices and theory coming to the land to learn so we have created the land for the people to learn yeah you know they say uh, cultural wealth is the hallmark of you know any country and the last Kochi Musarits Biennale, you, you told me earlier on, was, uh, had a budget of almost 23 crores. But at the same time, we know funding for arts and cultural events is never easy. Is doing this for a decade, is, is it easy or is it still an ongoing battle to, to put um, this something of the scale together, yeah? Nothing is easy. But you know, like, uh, believe in what we have done so far you know it's like 10 years it's in the art world i would say very young or a child or something like that you know like 128 years of venice binale and there are more than 316 binales around the world and people talk about maybe hardly 10 or 15 so kochi become one of the you know talking point because it's turned out to be people's binary the huge support comes from you know who believes in it. You know, the patronage doesn't come for culture or art. You know, when we study a report of UK or France, you know, 80% of the travelers, the cultural tourists, you know, 80% of them, you know, out of that 100%, 80% of that are cultural tourists. And when we take up Kochi, Musris Binali, you know, surrounding areas, you know, like I see a kind of incredible development um, aesthetically, um, materially, and consciously. Aesthetic, I believe that aesthetic cannot be taught, but it can be learned from when we create places like this. Yeah. That's great. You know, uh, last year's edition had its share of hiccups. It uh, didn't start off on time for things that were not under your control. Uh, nature played havoc, shipping was delayed, yet the show went on. Credit to you, the show went on. What do you think were some of the lessons learned from, uh, you know, the, the Biennale just got over in April? A uh, lot of miffed artists and some tourists too who had made plans, but you pulled it off. What do you think is the road ahead and what do you think are the lessons learned? Yeah. There are quite a lot of things we learned from the first edition itself. Um, First edition, you know, when I talk about it, you know, like we created almost 70% of the artwork on site itself. So we have invited all the artists to come and experience the site mm. and develop art from their site, you know, also that the young generation can learn from the site itself. So we have this, you know, Kochi Biennale, when we talk about it, it is not just about the Biennale. We, we do, we have other verticals, other pillars, like in students' binali, art by children, art room, you know, music of Musiris, you know, video lab, etc. So when it come, comes back to this uh, question of, you know, hiccups, yeah, in 2019, we announced the fifth edition curator, 2019. Every binali, we need to have 24 months minimum you know, like it's usually we announce the curator's name at the closing day. But this year we decided that, you know, let's clear all our debts or, you know, the obligations and then think about the next uh, edition of the binary. But, uh, you know, 2019, the you know, pandemic happened and, you know, like we decided to postpone the Benali in 2020. At that time, Kochi Binali Foundation was not sleeping. We created an incredible project called Logamitharavad, which given a strength to the land of artists. You know, like we had 267 artists shown their work in Alepi, a different destination, different site. So there are sites are available. So you had to create the spaces for, you know, art. Yeah. And, you know, I think, you know, our Binali is like, my curator, our curator is always present at the site. You know, here this last edition, it was impossible. And also artists used to come and spend much more time. This, this year it was impossible. And insurance and everything went up, 
you know, like there was no money. Of course, you know, people been hugely supported, you know, like always, you know, there are incredible support comes from all around India. We cannot take FCR eh, because, you know, we don't have, you know, from outside money, we cannot accept it because we don't have XPR. Eh. But otherwise, uh, we are the one of the, you know, we have maybe uh, raised almost 100 crore in last five years, you know, so uh, five, five editions I'm talking about. So also when you look at, at other biennials, you know, the expenses are in, you know, Venice Binale spent almost 13 million euro in my knowledge and document that takes place every five years, which they spend the last edition, they spent 40 million euro, which is 300 and I don't know how yeah. much is it, but you know, like Kochi Musis Binale is the fifth edition. We started the first edition, I do remember, we spent about 17.5. Now it is 23, you know, crore budget. I think, you know, we, we have been, you know, supported by artists, patrons from all around India, passionate people, and, you know, hopefully, you know, there will be changes, you know, like uh, structural changes uh, in the organization. That's what, you know, we are planning to do. Yeah. So, I think a success for any event depends on how attitudes towards art changes. I wanted to know, uh, do you think like contemporary art has this reputation of like it's too abstract i can't understand it you know what's happening here do you do you think the biennale has played a role in changing those mindsets and making people aware of you know appreciating art and understanding art are you seeing that on the ground i think so yeah. i think so i would say that you know like i would like to give an anecdote you know when i was traveling to see a professional preview of another biennale and there were hundreds of people from different parts of the world standing at the entrance of the museum. And uh, the kids were playing across the road. And uh, I just wanted to check it out, you know, like with the kids. Um, I went up to them and asked, them, what is happening? There is, doesn't seem like you know, any, any, any kind of... Unfortunately, none of these kids have no clue what is happening next to door to your place that is actually a failure of the project. You know, I would say that, you know, like, first thing what we had done with my colleague is that we have produced a small brochure. What is a Benali? Why we are doing it? And which ones are the best ones around the world so far? This is published in English and in Malayalam, given to students, given to rickshawalas and, you know, hotels and homestays and things like that. And also my young generation of practitioners went around and given slideshows in schools and colleges, 35 schools. It was not easy with the projector carrying and you know like and also theater friends got together and given theater sketches. And also those period of time, you know, these bloggers, you know, got together. They've been there were a lot of controversy before opening the show yeah. in Kerala it happens, you know, like regarding that um, uh, Darba Hall, which we have developed uh, as kind of weather control space, there was a lot of controversy. And so I have invited, you know, about 30, 35 bloggers to show them um, where is the site, you know. And it was not about, you know, that's the time they realized, maybe enlightened that it is not just about drawing or painting or sculpture. It is about amalgamation of all kinds of culture, all kinds of thinking, all kinds of practices coming. And the scale, they realized it. It was in dilapidated places, but we converted or, or kind of given a face change to the spaces and uh, produ produced the project. Yeah. You know, you, I think you were telling me that because of the Biennale, more people in Kerala now know what an installation is, right? Yeah. It's not yeah, like... Two no words, I think, in Malayalis knows very well. <laughs> they know what an installation is. Installations at home, you know, they would say that install, that, you know, like keep up things and, you know, there's a kind of... I see there is a kind of erasing mediocrity is also happening. <laughs> You know, in the art exhibition spaces also, you can see there is a kind of huge changes. Earlier, they used to put up an artwork with a thread, you know, like a canvas. Now, they place it, uh, they know, I think, you know, aesthetic is, you know, learned from the site itself. Um, and other word is Biennale. Biennale is everybody knows now. In, I've seen and you know, I heard in few films also in and contemporary Malayalam films have been used, this term called Biennale. And you're telling yeah. me, I think you also told me there's a Biennale Pani. 
I think another barometer for the success for any contemporary art uh, exhibition of this scale would be how much has it benefited the local art scene. Have you seen uh, in the last decade, you know, artists emerge, uh, perhaps someone who visited, someone who volunteered and next thing you know is that they're showing at the Biennale or they are almost on, in the crusp of something big? There are amazing stories, you know, so many success stories. Um, maybe two, three, I can't see it right now. You know, like uh, the learning from the ground is, you know, uh, some, of the, some of them are mediators, you know, like uh, we, uh, we have mediators, you know, free walkthroughs also we give it. And, uh, you know, during, in 2014, 13, um, Jiddish and myself went to, went to Trichur Fine Arts College to check it out what is happening in, in the Fine Arts College. So we found a guy called Unikrishnan C. And uh, he was one of the youngest artists who participated in that um, Jiddish Binal in 2014. And uh, when Shekahur Al Qasimi from Sharjah Binale and uh, uh, Yuko Hasagawa from Japan, she visited the show. She was the curator for the next edition of the Sharjah Binale. She picked up his work and uh, exhibited his work. Sharjah Foundation bought his work. He got some Switzerland, some exhibitions and residencies and things like that. The same kind, you know, uh, a legendary curator who passed away a few years ago, um, Okuyen, which, uh, visited Kochi Bainel and found Madhusudanen's work. And another artist, young artist, he was, he's a self-taught artist, actually he was a volunteer, mm. worked in the 2012 edition. Wow. And uh, he was shown his project in 2018. Edition, uh, Anida um, curated his name. That's yeah. So these these kind of there are many like that. And you know, all these artists, you know, like uh, CGR Krishnan, she got uh, shows in um, Moscow Biennale. Um, Shosha Joseph, she got incredible. Now her work is in the um, Metropolitan Museum, yeah. and she, she's shown in. Um, one of the uh, biennials in the you know, Sydney biennial, you know, all this kind of invitations got it from here. So this, this place, there is many opportunities. You know, what you see in Kochi is that who is who from around the world. And at the same time, you can see the participation of the local. And it's almost like, you know, this local becoming National, national and national becoming and or you know global or something yeah. like that or other way around you know like i i've been you know friends coming from silicon valley also they are proud of that you know it is happening in the outland you know some of the friends says that wow it's in my city it is my country you know that kind of thing yeah sure. uh, mr bose you said in a ted talk something that i found really hard to believe actually you said that everybody can be an artist I find it very hard to believe because I can't draw to save my life. I yeah. gave my drawing <laughs> a book always to my father and yet I barely pass. That's on him, not on me. But uh, do you truly believe that there is an artist in all of us that if we, I don't know, put our mind and our hands together, we can actually do it? I do believe, absolutely. I do believe that everybody can be a curator. Everybody can be an artist. But everybody is not an artist or everybody is not a curator. Um, a famous statement by Joseph Beuys, a legendary German artist, a performance artist or a shamanistic kind of a guy. He said, everyone is an artist. But I do believe that everyone is not an artist, but everyone can become an artist. So that kind of, you know, like, for example, I was, you know, I've seen so many talented people in Kerala. And, but never had an opportunity to show them the path. Or, you know, even I didn't know that there were, you know, I was fortunate that your destiny has taken me to the places. Like I, one of my friend, once I received an award from Kerala Lilithar Academy, that's the time 
someone said you know there is a place called sir j j school of arts in mumbai why don't you come to mumbai and i went to mumbai in 85 in 85 onwards i'm a mumbai kar mallu na and uh, yeah gone from places to places you know because you are committed to do, do what uh, my passion is not obsession my passion is passion it's not at all obsession i kept some space from um, whatever i you know light yeah uh artist or curator what comes naturally to you i don't know how you do it uh, so but uh, and and is the juggling act now something that you figured <laughs> now that now that you've been doing yeah. and interacting with artists what is what comes naturally i am good at uh, you know i i think i'm good at everything <laughs> i mean i it's not egoistic no i'm sorry i i think you know like um, if you're an artist you understand the space very well if you're an artist you need to know about the theory well um so the practice and theory should go hand in hand that's what i believe and there is a place if you are you know an artist is an, actually an editor and like an editor you know you need to know what is to be eliminated what is to be erased what is to be uh, you know deleted and things like that so i think you know you need to know the place very well to present your artist vision um so first of all you are an artist so you know the theory and the practice what kind of ingredients if you are a, you know if you are a chef you know what kind of ingredients you are using the same thing for me as an artist i understand my other artists what they are looking for and you know space you need to understand the space so edit it well that space uh, i think both goes well Yeah, yeah. Uh, this year's edition, which just winded up in April, you had some nine lakh people. You told me just uh, at the Aspen Mall House because that's a ticketed thing. Uh, you're looking at footfalls, which which are insane for an uh, you know exhibition of this scale. Uh, how do you manage uh, so to get the crowds? Because one thing is is that you always see crowds at uh, the Biennale. Uh, families coming in droves and it's not just people from kochi you're getting sure. people from across kerala how have you gone about building that sort of uh, passion for for this particular event and 900000 is not an actual you know number i mean like uh, we the main biennial took place in three spaces in kochi fort kochi and we had total of 16 venues yeah 16 venues different places only one place we sold our ticket um but previous edition we have done some reports uh, created by um udc urban design collective an architect uh, vidya mohan kumar and her team um found and also kpmg that did a study about this economic effect of the penale and you know like how many people visited and all that kind of studies this year we didn't do that study but you know like we guess that you know like uh, people how many programs we had how many pe- people visited the program how many abc programs attended by uh, people and things like that you know so abc was also um, very hugely <laughs> Uh, around 300 300,000 people visited uh, to see that abc program and it's still it's 365 days of work kochi biennial foundation does that you know like um, the programs wise it's not just about the binale you know we do many other verticals yeah, yeah i wanted you I think to the time is uh, Time is up. Oh, we. I don't. I don't know. Nagarjuna was standing right behind. Thank you so much, yeah. uh, Mr. Bose Krishnamachari, for giving us your time yeah. and for putting together such a wonderful event. Two years after every two years. For India, <laughs> and it's an Indian Biennale. It is first Indian Biennale, and it's. You know, we used to have a Trinale in Delhi. Unfortunately, failed to sustain. I hope uh, you know we <coughs> go far with. everybody support thank you so much india today to invite me to be part of your conclave thank you thank you so much sir thank you a big round of applause for mr bose krishnamachari